we named the company Office for Creative Research for a couple of reasons. I, I thought it sounded like uh, uh, an office you would find uh, when you're walking like on Capitol Hill that you would be like, what? I didn't know there was an Office for Creative Research. And, and so there was something nicely institutional about it, and it felt like um, something mysterious. But the, the word creative was important to have in there um, alongside with research because I think if we were called the Office for Anything Else Research, we would get lumped together with um, academia or with industrial science or whatever, whatever the, the usual things we connect research to in, in business. And I wanted to make sure that people knew that we were doing weird things. And so the, the word creative was there to um, challenge people's expectations a little bit. And, and that's one of the nice things about the word creative is it means so many things to so many different people that, that you can put it in your name and people will say, oh, you must be a and we sort of nod and go, we are that, <laughs> and many other things. Any company that's successful is creative at work, and it and it might not manifest in the ways that you would expect it. And and even 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 a company that makes a massive policy change, um, you know, maybe thinking about um, uh, you know companies that 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 force all their all their employees to consider safety first or something like that as a way to 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 change the company dynamics like in in its own that doesn't feel creative but the idea to do it was creative and and i i think that any you know any company that that innovates has to be has to be creative um the way the labor market's changing that it, it may be coming more important but i, I I may be a believer that it always has been, and certainly at Bell Labs, and I hope at the, at the OCR, um, creativity was kind of ba baked into not only the way that 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 people work, but also like the way the space was built, and and the social norms that were present within the the space, and and I think that's another thing we forget about creativity. There's some there's some idea that like okay, let's all sit down and be creative right now. Like here's the creativity table, but that's not really how it works. It has to be a foundational thing throughout the organization that can build creativity in. And without that, it's not going to happen. First and foremost, I think, is our focus on multidisciplinarity. So we hire people from radically different places. So, you know, we have um, former filmmakers and architects and designers and, and uh, software engineers and, and, and uh, you know, VJs and uh, all kinds of people that come from different places to work together. And, and I've always been a believer of that in a really big way. I teach at um, New York University in a program called ITP, which was founded really on this idea of radical multidisciplinarity. And in order to understand the future, we can't just get people who think they already know what the future is. We've got to get people who, who haven't even thought about these things together um, so that, so that the, the, the idea space, the possibility space is as broad as possible. So that's a big thing that we do. You know, if I was to define like real creativity, that's one of the, the bottom line things. Like creativity is the ability to ask a new question.